everyone, it is Thursday, May 30th, in the year of our Lord 2013, how are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always, wicked awesome, it's Thrash Metal Thursday! Ah, hell yeah, and a little Rob Zombie for you, um, this one is uh, called More Human Than Human, how are you more human than human? I don't get it, but who gives a shit? Today's unofficial sponsor of the show is a wonderful tattoo and piercing shop in Arizona. A lovely lady named Rochelle Nicole Hoffman and her company, Ritual Addictions. Aw, oh, yeah. She watches our show. We support her business. We've shared each other's uh, pages, and we will continue to do that. Right, Rochelle? Hell yeah. Got to. Gotta do it. It's gotta be done. Ritual addictions. Folks, check it out. If you're into tattoos or piercings, you're gonna want it. And uh, there's a reason why we're playing all three songs by Rob Zombie today. I'll get to that. Alright. With that said, I'm parched. I need an adult beverage. And of course, the proper beer consumption apparatus for Thrash Metal Thursday. The Thrash Metal beer consumption apparatus. And today's beer of the day, boys, girls, and it's. Sam Adams, Blueberry Hill Water. Oh, what a thrill. On Blueberry Hill. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, lager, the blueberries, and natural flavor added. 5.5%, a little bit above average strength. Sam Adams, Boston, Massachusetts, the greatest state in America, greatest city in America. Probably be opening up for us. Proper technique. Here we go. Forty-five degree angle right into the beer consumption apparatus right over the keyboard because I'm just that damn good. Have a spill the drop yet? Never have, never will. Not while pouring anyway. Cheers and beers to all of you. Cross is saying Germany. Kapai is the same Japan. This beer, very magnifique, absolutely fantastic. I'll give it a mm. I'm gonna give it an A minus. Excellent, excellent beer, Sam Adams. There you go. We got three birthdays for all y'all. Right off the bat, my man Steve Chiapetta. This dude. A badass crew dog, a legend of a man. He is the one that got me into um, modern rockabilly. Now, Steve and I love the old school stuff. Steve and I should have been born around 1938 and graduated in 56, okay? I'm not kidding. Steve, I know it's ain't my kind of music normally, but I do have a love for heavy metal. I always have lots of talent in that, and it is Trash Metal Thursday. But well, don't worry, tomorrow's Frantic Friday. And Steve, you're going to want to watch Frantic Friday. I always bring out some wild rockabilly stuff. Last Friday was uh, Reverend Horton, who he, you he turned me on to. And Steve, happy birthday, my friend. And I'm sorry about the New York Rangers, but I had to root for them to lose because it was against my Boston Bruins. You did a great job. I give you a Love Doctor salute for sporting uh, Bobby Orr on your Facebook profile and cover photo for 24 hours solid. You, you lost a bet, and you owned up to it. And I respect that. Much respect. Big time. Steve, hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well, and enjoy. Cheers and beers to you. I worked with Steve in California, the land of fruits and nuts. Otherwise known as Western Nevada. Next on the list. This guy is a YouTube legend. There are some of his videos that have over one million views, okay? I couldn't hold a candle to this freaking guy, all right? I'm telling you that right now. This legend, Chris Shuey, Shoe Nice 22. Anybody ever heard of him? Get your ass along with the rest of you on the YouTube. Look up Shoe Nice, S-H-O-E-N-I-C-E 22. All one word. Look him up and watch the craziness that that man does. His videos are only like... 
you know, most of them are only like five minutes long. He has some of them maybe a little longer, but dude's a human garbage disposal. He eats all kinds of stuff, all right? Watch the man eat. Watch the man take a fifth of vodka or a fifth of um, Jack or whatever or a big-ass bottle of 151. The guy's done that, too. And chug it down in like 15 seconds. It's insane in the membrane. And Chris, shoey, shoe nice, brother. Hey, I love you, man. You may be a New York Giants fan, but you know what? You're a homer and you got the right to be. I'm a Patriots fan. I'm from Bo I'm from Martha's Vineyard Island, Massachusetts. I'm a true mass hole, and I love my home teams just like you. Shoe nice, what the hell? Get a love, Dr. Salute. You deserve it. Cheers and beers to you. I'm not going to chug it down like you because I'm just not as cool as you. I'll admit it. I got other things I'm cool at, you know? See, I'm the love doctor. That's what I'm good at. Hey, when you marry the royalty, you got to be good. All right. Speaking of some royal people, how about this lovely young lady and Chris? Party hard and enjoy celebrate like it's 1969 minus the acid. How about the lovely, gorgeous Trish Serrano celebrating a milestone birthday, the perfect age? Hey, you don't get to look forward to another birthday until 2043. Then you can start getting those early... Uh, early senior um, discounts at Denny's and IHOP, stuff like that, you know, the 55 and over club. But yeah, so Trish, happy birthday to you. Hope you're doing well. I know you're moving here to Yaha, Texas soon, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. And you are bringing your wonderful lesser half, Juan, with you. You guys are living in Germany. And I worked in jolly old England. Badass Jetsicles, the two of youths. And, uh, See, Juan and Trish are very special to me. See, I'm a legally ordained minister. And I performed five wedding ceremonies. And that was the first one I ever did. Jolly old England. Juan and Trish, definitely a pleasure and an honor doing your wedding. Thank you for the privilege and the honor to do that. And uh, you guys are doing great with a lovely kid now. A growing family. I love it. Be fruitful and multiply. You're good people. And you should be. I want good people in the world. So have a litter of kids. Have like 20 kids, okay? Please. I don't want these dumb people breeding. I want you guys breeding because you guys are ultra cool. But hey, cheers and beers to you, Trish. And Juan, I hope you spoil the hell out of your better half. You guys have a wicked awesome day. Party hard and enjoy. How about some additional shout outs? Trivia contest winner, my man, Dan Santoro. A badass crew dog that we're going down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as West Louisiana, Texas, where men are men and the bulls are unscared. Well, see, he mentioned something very important. And, uh, uh oh, yeah, just making sure I got the right notes here. Okay. I brought out a trivia question, and it was simple. What state was Rob Zombie born in? For an added bonus, name the town. Welp, Dan the man, you said it. You said Massachusetts with a question mark. You weren't certain, but you were guessing. That was a damn good guess, brother, because this mass hole is proud to know that Rob Zombie is a fellow mass hole as well. The town, by the way, Haverhill. H-A-V-E-R-H-I-L-L. -L. Haverhill, not Haver, not Haverhill. It's Haverhill. That's how it's pronounced, all right? Haverhill, Massachusetts, January 12th in the year of our Lord, 1965. Dan... You get the love doctor salute. Way to go, brother. Hell yeah. I'll drink to that. Well done, Pilgrim. All right. Um, other. My friend Heather uh, Heather Murray, she likes to provide uh, random facts of the day once in a while. And this one's really cool. The word uh, lethod. Oh, my God. I can't even pronounce it. Lethologica, Lethologica, L-E-T-H-O-L-O-G-I-C-A, describes the state of not being able to remember the words you want. Well, <laughs> it just happened to me. I, that word that I wanted, I couldn't freaking pronounce it. There you go. But anyway, thank you, Heather. Awesome job. Keep providing those um, random facts of the day. I appreciate it. And my man, Justin Dimmitt, I'm going to just throw it out there now. My executive producer of the show, creator of the Banner Song of the Day Facebook page, and... Runs the Baby of the Day album for you. Uh, he had to mention the actor Cole Meany, who played Senior Chief Petty Officer Miles O'Brien in Star Trek The Next Generation, 
and Deep Space Nine was born on this day, May 30th, in the year of our Lord, 1953. 60 years old today, milestone birthday. He's the only main Star Trek actor to ever appear in two pilots and two finales. Star Trek Next Generation's encounter at uh, Farpotent, F-A-R-P-O-T-I-N-T. What the hell is that? And all good things. And Deep Space Nine's Emissary and What You Leave Behind as the same character. And the only person to wear more uniform combinations without being in a movie. And is second in appearances on Star Trek. Next to Michael Dorn with 211 appearances in both, sizzy, in both series. Wow, that's as busy as Ron Jeremy in his heyday. Holy crap. There you go. Thought you'd enjoy that, especially if you're a Star Trek fan. Let's get to some more random shout-outs real quick. My good friends. Now, these two ladies are absolutely beautiful. And they're like sisters. They're like sisters from a different mister. From, sister from another mister. You know? And they I don't remember them hanging out as much as they do now. But see, the first one is the lovely, gorgeous Sarah Hall. A comical nav wizard that I have the distinct pleasure of working with down here in Yeehaw, Texas. Otherwise known as Eastern New Mexico. And Sarah, you are a true Texas lady, aren't you? And uh, a comical nav wizard, all right? And Sarah, I want to give you a shout out. Say, what's up, girl? Always a pleasure chatting with you. I'm going to have to drop by your place on Saturday because we got to say uh, sayonara, adios, and uh, we're going to miss you big time to your sister, the lovely, gorgeous Samantha Reed. Sam, a sweetheart of a lady. What she does is she schedules jobs and prioritizes things like that. All kinds of stuff. Keeps track of that stuff. She's a walking brain. And she's moving to South Korea. Not North Korea. Uh -uh, she's not communist. She's moving to South Korea. Shame on you. And if I'm not mistaken, Sam, you're from Colorado, right? Which is basically northern New Mexico. Hmm, imagine it. Or is it southern Wyoming? Haven't quite figured that out. But Sam... Good chat with you today. I'm going to miss the hell out of you. You leave America in three days. I'm sad. Sarah's wicked sad. And I, I'll tell you what. You know what you two ladies ought to do? I was thinking about this earlier today while I was busting balls at work. How about we have the first ever double real babe of the day? You two ladies are beautiful, total sweethearts, and absolutely wicked awesome. Great friends of mine. In fact, Sam... You're even a Red Sox fan, and I love you for it. I do. Great. I thought I had the picture on my phone. I don't. But uh, anyway, I think the two of you should be featured as Babe of the Day on a future episode of the Beer and Song of the Day. I want to know what you two think. Should we do it? i got to have your permission. It's only right to do that. But Sam, I'm going to miss you, girl. And uh, you get a love, Dr. Salute. Sarah. You're just a total sweetheart of a lady. And uh, I love you because you're just honest, upfront. You tell it like it is. And I respect that. Always have, always will. Honesty is the best policy. The two of youths. Cheers, the beers. And uh, I'll see you on Saturday. All right. Now, this lovely young man works with my good friend, Samantha Reed. And this man, Mike Longley. This dude is a true Pennsylvania guy, a true Pittsburgh guy, and he does the same job that, as, as Sam. Mike, on top of that, resiliency training assistant, what he does is the same job that I do. It's all about teaching people to look at the positives in life. And Mike, you, and I'm going to give a shout out to my boy Jason Smaltz, a badass crew dog that was with jolly old England. Living in West Virginia and a wicked hardcore Pittsburgh Steelers fan, Pittsburgh Pirates fan, gotta love that, and a Pittsburgh Penguins fan. Well, you two guys, Mike, Jason, <coughs> squeeze me. I love you guys. You're totally awesome. And uh, you both have made that bet, the famous Dr. B's Facebook bet. And here's the gig, folks. If the Bruins beat the Penguins, <coughs> squeeze me, in the series, the two youths are going to wear Boston Bruins stuff on your Facebook page for a 24-hour period. If I lose, which that shit ain't going to happen. Penguins are going to be tough. I'm predicting Bruins in seven, okay? If 
I lose, I will wear that Penguins crap on my Facebook page for 24 hours. Cover photo and the hell that other shit called profile pic. Duh. All right. So you guys, good luck. You're going to need it. I got the skills. But I'll drink to the two of you because you guys are awesome guys and awesome friends of mine. Mm-mm. After years of brain cells and I have a Yankee fan. Aw, oh, shit. Good thing the love doctor comes with backups. Hey, what do you know? Sam Adams. Little white rye. Mm. An ale brewed with orange peel and coriander with sage added. Hot diggity dog damn. How about a beer like that, huh? 5.3% of absolute awesomeness. And my man Jason Smaltz. He's like me. He loves a great micro brew, and we've drank a lot of them, haven't we, bro? There you go. That's how you pop a good beer. Um, 45 grand right into the beer consumption apparatus right over the keyboard because I'm just that damn good. Mm-hmm. Perfect pour each and every time. You know, I've drank over 2,000 different types of beer, and uh, Jason can vouch for that one. All right. Cheers to beers to all you processes say in Germany, Kapai, as they say in Japan. Rye. Definitely different. That beer smells weird. I'm going to give it a B. It's a good beer. But what a weird beer. Very weird. Good flavor, though. All right. And the final shout-out goes to Ritual Addictions. Because I'm going to tag you in the post with your Facebook page and, uh, I got something special about Ritual Addictions, Rachel Nicole Hoffman, okay? In the meantime, got awfully quiet. We need some music. And how about some more Rob Zombie? And the song is called Black Shun Sunshine because guess what, folks? It is time for the, today's hunk of the day. And who better than the man who was born January 12, 1965 in Haverhill, Massachusetts? Rob Zombie himself. That's right, boys, girls, and it's. And this song is called Black Sunshine. And it's also featuring Iggy Pop. Now, I thought, I always, I was never into Iggy Pop myself. I thought the guy was a freaking douche. Him, David Bowie, and Billy Idol. The three of them can jump off a cliff and die for all I care. I can't stand any of them. But, this guy's pretty damn cool. Now, Rob Zombie, I originally thought, you know, he's actually not a bad looking fella. He's pretty cool looking. 48 and doing great. Look at that. Look at those tattoos. Now, I got a good friend of mine that loves tattoos. The lovely Sam, Samantha Reed. Sam, I know you're a big tattoo nut. You're going to love today's show, girl. And I hope you watch. See, I thought Rob Zombie looked more like that. It's just absolutely weird. But apparently not. It looks kind of cool. <clears throat> looks like the kind of guy I'd want to party with, actually. I think that was Iggy Pop there. So Iggy Pop's alright. Maybe he's not as bad as the other two. I just... They were both... See, I honestly thought that's what Rob Zombie looked like. I thought Rob Zombie looked like a zombie the first time I ever heard of him. And then I saw that album going like, Is that Rob Zombie for real? Is that what he looks like? Apparently not. Apparently looks kind of cool. Badass goatee. Kick-ass long hair. I like Ron Zombie. It's always my wife. I love Goddess. Hey, we got some uh, celebrity birthdays. Let's get them out of the way. I thought, uh, wow. Scary. He probably still looks better than me. Okay, I'm the poster boy for birth control. CeeLo Green, 39 years old today. CeeLo Green, soul singer. How about, uh,. Steven Gerrard. Well, who's that, Love Doctor? You soccer nuts out there, better known as international football. Yet the computer's playing. Well, I guess it was still recording. The screen froze. See, I have the luck of a murder victim with electronic devices. Electronic devices, big fat GFY. Y'all suck. That's how I feel about it. Ass bandits. It froze for 39 seconds. 
Wow. Hey, today's actually um, Winona Judd's birthday. Remember she was David the Day for yesterday? Yeah. And, that, and that's why Sarah and Sam, you two ladies are so much better looking than Winona Judd. Oh, my goodness. So much better looking. In fact, Sam, you got a lot of modeling pics out there. I've seen them. And I really think that you and Sarah should have some pictures taken together. Right here, right now. And have them ready for that. That way there, on a future episode of Beer and Song Today, I can feature both of you together and separate, you know? A double dose of reality for the first time ever on Beer and Song of the Day, where we've recorded over 500 episodes for all of our viewers out there. Alright. <clears throat> 70 years ago today, running back, number 40, Chicago Bears, legend, badass, Gail Sayers was born. He only played for seven years, 1965 to 71, yet is a Hall of Famer, and rightfully so. Uh, played with Dick Butkus. Dick Butkus, badass. Hey, how about the late, great Mel Blank? Do you know who he is? Voice of Bud Bunny, Porky Pig, Daffy Duck, one of the greatest voices of all time. Mel Blanc, born on this day in 1908, passed away in 1989 at the age of 81. On this day in 1909, passed away in 1986, jazz legend, badass, greatest clarinet player ever probably, Benny Goodman. Yeah, if you don't know that name, you don't know music. How about Man Ram, Manny Ramirez, 41 years old today, born on this day in 1972. Of course, you remember him on the Red Sox for eight seasons. Very entertaining fella, interesting fella. But you know what? He did great things for us. And Manny, we miss you. Oh, I just want to show off Rob Zombie's Better Half Sherry. A former babe of the day on Beer and Song of the Day. Yeah, she's finer than a new set of snow tires, isn't she? I think so. Oh. On this day in 1962, Kevin Eastman was born. Well, who's that there, love doctor? He is your creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a Half Shell. Turtle Power. That's right. Kevin Eastman. 51 years old today. That means he was a kid when he created Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Wow. He was only like 20 years old or 22 or something like that. Honestly, in 1958, Ted McGinley was born. You know who that is? He was on The Love Boat, but most famous on... Um, Al Bun, uh, you know, he was on uh, Married with Children, Marcy Darcy's uh, boyfriend, Yipper, 55 man alive, and then we got Billy Donovan, head coach for Florida Gators basketball team, he's won two titles, he's 48 years old today, and uh, to be 48 and win two NCAA titles already, it's pretty badass. Alright, with that said, it is time that we get cracking with the last song of the day. <clears throat> Squeeze me. And today's gorgeous hunk of uh, babe of the day, our very own Rochelle Nicole Hoffman, Ritual Addictions. Look at that. She's in walking art gallery. Sam, you ain't got that many tattoos, girl. Maybe someday you will. But wow. And you know what she says? GFY to electronic devices. All right. Yeah, she's definitely a death metal chick. And a hottie. And this song, you're all going to love. Kids, block your ears because the song is called Pussy Liquor. And that's L-I-Q-U-O-R. Pussy Liqueur. Not Pussy Liquor, L-I-C-K-E-R. Although, hey, you know. Pussy Liquor by Rob Zombie. Here you go. Definitely a great song. See, Rochelle Nicole Hoffman is a big Rob Zombie fan. So, she wanted to hear Rob Zombie. Girl, you got it. And you also got yourself as Babe of the Day. A real Babe of the Day, folks. I didn't even tell my admins about this girl. Wow. Tattoos and piercings. You know, when you're going to own a tattoo shop in a piercing shop, when you are a tattoo piercing artist, you got to represent the pipe. And she definitely does that. And this song is for her. Pussy Liquor. 
Nicole, whatever you prefer. Rochelle Nicole Hoffman, she has a beer for you, girl. You are beautiful and a total sweetheart and always great chatting with you. How about some of this day in history, folks? Events that happened today, years ago. Two years ago today, executing its final mission, Space Shuttle Endeavor successfully undocks from the International Space Station to return to Earth. Ooh, nice. Last day, 1996, John Tesh's final day as host of Entertainment Tonight. This is a big one, folks. 26 years ago today, in 1987, North American Phillips Company unveils the compact disc video, better known as the DVD. And now you know. I think that's what it was. It wasn't that laser disc thing. Nice. What a song. What a bang. I say in 1979, Ted Coombs begins a 5,193 mile roller skate from Los Angeles to New York City. This one's really cool if you're a racing fan. I say in 1976, Bobby Unser sets a world record for the fastest pit stop ever. Five seconds. That's faster than a bull ride. A successful one. On the day 1959, the world's ever first hovercraft, SRN1, was tested at Cowes, England. There you go. I like that, Rochelle. Very nice. On the day 1953, 60 years ago today, the day that Cole Meany was born, the first ever Major League Network baseball game aired. And first Major League Networking, in other words, coast to coast. The Cleveland Indians beat the Chicago White Sox 7 to 2. I say in 1949, WRTV Channel 6 in Indianapolis, Indiana, which I'm sure my friend Justin Dimmitt's familiar with, ABC affiliate begins broadcasting. I say in 1948, the Schenectady Blue Jays, Tommy Lasorda, the pitcher Tommy Lasorda. Yes, we know him as a Dodgers manager for many years. He struck out 25 batters in a 15-inning game. Folks, he pitched for 15 innings. They did that shit back then. Nowadays, they're a big bunch of wusses. August 8, 1935, Babe Ruth had his final baseball game ever. Then hitless for the Boston Braves against the Philadelphia Phillies. Very pretty, Rochelle. You're a gorgeous lady, and you are really cool. Ultra cool. Honest day in 1927, pitcher Walter Johnson recorded his 113th and last shutout of his career. Nobody has beaten that record ever since. No will they. Honest day in 1922, the Lincoln Memorial was dedicated. Also on this day in 1922, this one's kind of cool. The Chicago Cubs swapped Max Flat for um, St. Louis Cardinals Cliff Heathcote. During the middle of a doubleheader, so both players played for both teams in the same day. That's pretty weird, but it happened. 100 years ago today, the first ever Balkan War ends by way of the Treaty of London. On this day, also in 1913, the new country of Albania forms. Albania is 100 years old today, boys and girls. On this day in 1911, the first ever Indy 500 car race, Ray Haroon wins with an average speed of 74.59 miles per hour. How about that? Remember, we're talking 1911, folks. Okay? On this day in 1908, Paris advocate E. Archdeacon is the first passenger in an airplane. Oh, she naked! Naked at Tahiti. Naked. On this day in 1904, Frank Chance gets hit by a pitch five times in a doubleheader. A doubleheader is two baseball games in one day, in case you're wondering. <coughs> five times in one game. Squeeze me. On this day in 1901, the first ever Memorial Day observed in the United States of America. On this day in 1896, the first ever car accident occurs. Henry Wells is hit by a 
uh, hit a bicyclist. Where at? New York City. Gee, go figure. Um, on this day in 1894, Bobby Lowe is the first to hit four home runs in one baseball game. Okay. On this day in 1889, the Brazier, better known as the Bra, was invented. There you go. So prior to this, to May 30th, 1889, lovely ladies like her and all you other lovely ladies out there had boobies flopping in the breeze because there was no such thing as a bra prior to then. So you can thank. May 30th, 1889 for that. On this day in 1879, Gilmore Garden in New York City was renamed Madison Square Garden. By the way, the Madison Square Garden that exists right now is the one is, it was built in 1968. It's like the fifth one. Just in case you're wondering. There, see, you learned something new on Beer and Song of the Day. On this day in 1872, Marlon Loomis patents the wireless telegraphy. Um, that's Marlon, M-A-H-L-O-N. I'm not kidding you. On this day in 1868, the first ever Memorial Day was actually observed officially, well, unofficially, but two women in Columbus, Mississippi, better known as Western Alabama, placed flowers on both Confederate and Union soldier graves. How about that? That's pretty cool. That's where the tradition started from. On this day in 1848, you like ice cream? Ice cream! William G. Young patents the ice cream freezer. You can thank that man for that, you ice cream freaks. I love ice cream, too. On this day, also in 1848, Mexico ratifies treaty giving the United States, New Mexico, California, and parts of Nevada, Utah, Arizona, and Colorado. What'd they get for that? $15 million. That's it. We raped them blind. We robbed them. Hell yeah! On this day, in 1821, James Boyd patents the rubber fire hose. You can thank him. For um, helping put out your fire. On this day in 1783, Benjamin Tower of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania publishes the very first daily newspaper in the United States. Of course, back then, we weren't really a country yet. First state ratified the Constitution in 1787, Delaware. Finally, on this date in 1539, Spanish explorer Fernando de Soto discovers the land of the old people. That's right. Northern Cuba, better known as Florida. Home of the Miami Heat. Not one, not two, not three, not four. Yeah, bite me, LeBron James, you douche. Hey, yeah, give yourself one of those. Sorry, Sam. Love you, girl, but I know you're a Miami Heat fan, but I got to bite your chops a little bit, okay? Hey, root for the Denver Nuggets. Isn't that your home team? Be like me, or you can root for my Celtics. Hey, you root for our Red Sox, and I give you love for that. All righty. And Sarah Hall, rooting for those Rangers. Rangers are looking good this year. i got to give you that. But, hey, Red Sox are in first place, too. All right. Time to slam this here beer. Mmm. Empty as a brain cells on average Yankee fan. Folks. Hey. It is time for some love goddess food. What's for dinner tonight, you say? Chicken and uh, bacon cheese quesadillas. And the lovely, gorgeous Sarah Hall. You know Mama's cooking's amazing. Because you've had her tamales. So, you know what's up. Hell yeah. Tease your sister a little bit about that, will you? Just say, hey, you missed out on some amazing cooking. With that said, it's time to make like a fetus and head out. Everybody take care. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive in my spray. Drink all in my kill yourself with somebody else. And drink and drive in the dumb and the And with the winner of that is written for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli. Oh, I'm as good as Tom Brady. Yeah, in your freaking dreams, you douchebag. Nimrod, Manning, or men sucking women, or racism, or animal abuse, or anybody who's associated with a member or supports the Westboro Baptist Church. Things like that are just plain stupid and definitely deserve a big fat. GFY. Folks, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye bye. 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 Ritual addictions. Badass. Get some.